Hey, Angela, how are you? Can you hear me? Hello. Hey, there we go. How are you, Angela? I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> A long day. Yeah, it's a long day. It has been a long day, actually. Um, are you working? Oh, what about you? <laughs> um, going? Going pretty good, actually. I, I, I usually have pretty good days. I mean, some days are busy, uh, but right now I have a lot more time because I finish. I'm, I'm studying at the university, so I finish my classes. Really? Mm -hmm. But I finish my exams on Sunday. So now I'm on vacation for maybe like three weeks till I begin the next classes. Three weeks? Mm hmm More or less. And what are you studying, sorry? For uh, us. No, no problem. Business administration. Ah. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm waiting. Go ahead. No problem, Angela. Stephanie, Carolina, how are you? Gladys, how are you? Sandra, hello. Okay. Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Uh, really good. Good. Uh, good. Really good. And cold. <laughs> yeah, it's still a little cold, right? Yeah, a little. Okay. And well, you, teacher, how are you? I'm doing great. Great. Uh, it's, it's a good day. Today is Friday. Um, you know, Normally I don't work on Fridays, but it's okay. I'm, it's not a problem. And then on Saturday, and just time to relax, spend time with the family, Saturday and Sundays. And you guys, Angela, you were gonna say something? Yeah, and uh, you're studying what, sir? Business administration. That's right. I'm getting another degree. Mm -hmm. That's, that's perfect. Actually, uh, after I finish my degree, mm -hmm. I want to have a master. I don't know if that's correct. That's right. A mm -hmm. master. Well, not, not have, but the, it's correct, the master's. I want to get. I want, I want to, to I want to get the master. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, so you finished? I'm finishing court. I finished classes um, on Sunday. And then I have, I already received my grades. I received them on Monday. And then I had confirmation, an email confirmation today because I, I have my a scholarship. So I received confirmation that I still have the scholarship for the next module. And then in two or three weeks, we begin again in about three weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how long does it take a, a, mo a module? Module, modules take uh, nine weeks. Nine weeks. Mm -hmm. And how many are? Uh, the same as the normal university. You have to take uh, two years for a technical degree or associates and then four years for a bachelor's degree. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So it's <laughs> cool. Yeah, because my, my university is from an American university. So that's why it, it's only four years, not five, like the Salvadorian one. Uh, it's not a Salvadorian university. No, 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 no. It's an American university. That's cool. Mm -hmm. They offer scholarships to Salvadorians. So I applied, I was accepted, and so I get another degree. And I you know, and yeah. 
What uh, what's the name of that? I don't know how to say um of that. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't know, Angela. I, um, <laughs> you tell me, and I'll be able to help you. I mean, who gave the scholarships? Oh, you can you can check in relaciones exteriores. From Salvador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, you, okay. So, okay. Relaciones Exteriores has a website and they offer many scholarships, some online and some are physically in the other countries, but they offer for many countries, maybe, I don't know, maybe normally 15, 20 countries because you have Russia, India, um, Thailand, Japan, US, Canada, Australia, they, they offer a lot of scholarships. That's interesting. Actually, I was, I was trying to apply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, to a uh, scholarship from Canada, but about the situation, I couldn't <coughs> keep the. I couldn't keep the. I don't know how to say the. The transition, <laughs> to 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 make it happen, so I would try another time. Maybe while I finish my degree or in another opportunity. Okay. Yeah, keep trying. There's a lot of opportunities for Salvadorians. I know a lot of my students have gone to other countries. Some have gone to Turkey. Uh, some have gone to, you know, uh, the Middle East. Some have gone to, I have one who went to India. Um, another went to Russia. So there's a lot of opportunities. Germany. The question is, if, if you're okay to travel, and if you know English, you can have a scholarship almost anywhere. We need to work for it. <laughs> That's it. That's all. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys coming in. I know it's difficult on Friday, especially Friday evening. But I love to see that Oscar has his Christmas tree. It's <laughs> on. It has the little bright lights. And he's, he's feeling it. It's Friday and it's time for Christmas. It's November, but it's time for Christmas. It's time for Christmas. Right, Oscar? You're on mute, but it's okay. We understand. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Um... <laughs> My wife, uh, they created all the house, so we're almost like 80%, no, 75, I think so. But it's nice to come home and find everything on the lights and all. Yeah, it, look, it makes you feel happy. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice. Great job for your wife. She's doing great. I imagine only go to the Dollar City and then spend like, you know, only one thing and then come out with 20 things to finish decorating the house. Yeah. <laughs> The Dollar City is a really um, nice place. Yeah. A great store. <laughs> it is, especially for all of the decorations. They have a lot of different variety and cool things. So that's yeah. good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to make uh, groups and we want to focus on speaking and fluency and especially asking follow-up questions. Remember, follow-up questions are those questions that give you additional information, okay? So the follow-up questions are normally associated with WH. So for example, I ask, so I say, Gladys, how was your day? And Gladys says, ah, oh, it was okay. Then I I don't let Gladys just say, oh, it's okay. Or I don't let her say, hey, it was good. But I ask her, well, okay, why? What happened? What did you do today? Where did you go? Or uh, who did you see? Or something like that, okay? If Gladys tells me, oh, it was a bad day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, uh, what happened? Why was it a bad day? That's the follow-up question. The follow-up question is you don't allow your partner just to give you an answer about, you know, today or tomorrow or Sunday. So what are you going to do on Sunday? Nothing. Oh, so you, you do nothing at home or you do nothing visiting your parents or, you know, that's the idea. So the idea is for you to maintain a conversation and continue. Just like if you were at a, you know, um, you went to an interview or they went to a conference and you, you are in a business conference or you meet somebody new, you need to continue the conversation, not just, oh, okay, how are you? Fine. And you? Okay. Okay. Have a good day. You too. No, like, you know, well, let's work on it. Let's get that, that idea for those activities going. So that's the first thing we're going to focus. We're going to make uh, groups of three. Um, and don't worry, you can talk about whatever you want. Remember, taking a look at your uh, today or for this weekend, whatever plans you have.
All right, Luis. All right, let's do it. Hi, how are you? Excellent. Hi, it's in the weather. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's raining in my house. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. But you don't live in a dangerous place? No, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what about no, you, Lady? Well, here it's not raining. I live in the center of San Salvador. It's not raining. It's really warm right now, actually. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. But is it cold there? Uh, the last day. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Actually, I'm on my way to my house right now. I'm driving. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. but the cool. thing is, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. okay. I think I'm able to speak and, and drive at the same time. I had done that before, believe me. I had. Before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I, I just. I'm coming home. I just. And actually, not because, because of the pandemic, we have uh, like uh, rotative schedules. And um, because of the pandemic, we are making three shifts per day. I mean, I work from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, one day uh, or two days uh, like in sequence uh, today and tomorrow and then I go home for four days free and that's like the, the schedule that I have now mm. very cool so in, in which area you are working at uh, and I work as an air traffic control wow you like it I love it, man. <laughs> I mean, nice. it's, it's something incredible because uh, always is, uh, there is something new to learn. Every day is different. Everything happens, some new things. I mean, today, for example, we had like uh, this weather, this strange weather because of the hurricane, you know, uh, there was a lot of, of rain and a lot of wind here. So the airplanes, when arriving, when approaching to the runway, they have some of them, the lighters, have problems with the wind. Mm -hmm. So there is always something new to learn and to experience. Mm, that's interesting. My father-in-law used to work there in Sepa, 38 years. <laughs> oh, yeah, in, in, white, in which department? Uh, He's a lawyer. He used to work in this building that is in Metro Centro and in front of Hotel Intercontinental. And asking for prizes and uh, many, many things in the, in the mall. So at the end, I finish a little bit tired, but I'm here enjoying this class in this moment. <laughs> yes. Sounds good. And and where the, uh, were they uh, like Christmas shopping? No, the, uh, a friend of my daughter uh, is, uh, uh, what, my friend of my daughter is, um, is in his birthday, celebrating his birthday today. And so oh, okay. uh, she wanted to buy something for him. Uh, but as you know, women, um, I don't, don't remember. I don't remember. I have to say that the East the women are that, uh, they have that uh, quality, <laughs> and so they are yes. say, ah, "This is beautiful, I know, but this is not good." And so I prefer this. <laughs> yeah. So and I just just watching at them and say, "Hey, why don't why don't they buy that? It's 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 life for." So. I'm planning to do this weekend on working off a lot of paperwork that I have <laughs> from all my classes. So I need to finish them. And then, after I finish the paperwork, I need to study <laughs> for the exams that are coming next, I think next week. So it will be like a, a, hard, a hard weekend. <laughs> Yes, it's true. It's going to be, for me, it's going to be like taking the exam because 
uh, my students had it last week. So I have to check all. And I have to do that the next week because on Friday we finish the scholar year. And we have to give grace and have like the closing ceremony. So that's what we have to do the next week. So I have to finish all the grading this week. You know? Yes. Mm. You must be very disciplined. And is that difficult? How many bracelets have you done? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Very How clear. many bracelets have you done? Um, well, in a day, for example, I made 100, but today was a good day because I could, I could rest the whole day and I will, be, I will have a break the whole weekend. Okay. Do you first design all the bracelets that you are going to create? Or is just an inspiration that, or they comes from your imagination? Uh, no, I actually work for a company, so they give us the design. And oh, I just okay. made, yes, following their instructions. So you have to accomplish uh, a specific number of bracelets during the day? Yes, exactly, but uh, that depends on you, how much you want to work a day. Yeah, you make your own goal. Okay, that sounds great. Because you invest in your own time. You decide how many times you are going to invest in your handmade bracelets. Yes, exactly, but sometimes it's difficult because like, you don't have like the boss telling you like, you must be... Um, really, you must be conscious of what you have to do, what time you have to work, what time you have to study. I mean, you must be really, really busy. Yeah, nice, man. Nice. You know, you have to keep working on your English. The only way to learn is to practice. Yeah. And as much as you practice, sure, sure. Yeah. better for you. But the, 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 the nice thing that you yeah. have had. The, Teacher, do we ha do we get any benefits at the end of the course, or we just get a diploma? You get a diploma. Diploma mm -hmm. that we can add to our uh, to your our CV. Resume, yeah, that's right. Sure. Yeah. sure. Since you get a certificate, you can. Coach, can can this refer us to a, a <laughs> call center or something like that? Can this? Yeah, uh, but. School? Yeah, but you don't need you don't need the diploma for the call centers because the call centers don't care if you have a diploma or certificate or anything. They they do their own exams and they only care that you can speak English. You know they won't hire me because I, I have been deported, teacher. Ah, uh, if you have priors, it's mm -hmm. really hard to get to get hired. Yeah. That's uh, that's what I was told. I, I was told that they, they don't doubt on my abilities, like to sell or what you wanna work on sale? Oh, definitely, I do. Yeah. Okay, send me a what's up. I got, I got, I have a, I got somewhere I can put you in. If you want, if you want to get a job in sales, I got a call center for you. Really? Yeah, man. Shit, you start. I'll set you up. Uh, you send me today, and I'll, I'll send them. Send me your, uh, your curriculum, and I'll send it to them. I'll let them know that I, I referred you. Which call center is that? It's called Indigo. Indigo. That's yeah. in San Salvador, right? Yeah, that's in San Salvador. That's near uh, Rondel Masferrer. Okay. Yeah, salary is about salary starts at six hundred dollars and then bonuses. Okay. Um, Coach, uh, I'm 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 studying right now, so it might have to wait for a little bit. I'm I'm getting my electrical license and I have test uh, okay. very short, very shortly. Okay. So I'm okay. I'm doing all that right now, and I already. A company from the United States already promised me to hire me at the end, and that's that's supposed to be like here in town. So I don't know. I think I might prefer to be here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, but the, I, the important is to to get a job, right? To make money. That's that's what we want. It doesn't matter yeah, because, where. Because yeah. if I add if I add everything up, 
it's like I pay 150 for rent and then like 100 for food. It's like 250 and I get paid like 600. I don't know. I get I get to keep like I don't know about 300 out of that and me staying home making 400. It it sounds like a deal. You know? Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're at home, why not? Yeah, you know that's what I'm you're saying. saying you know, if, if I'm doing numbers and you know being comfortable at my own home. Okay. Well. Yeah. Good luck, Jose. That's great, man. Keep going, man. Yeah. yeah Important is to provide for our family. That's what we do, right? That's why we're studying English. We're making the sacrifices. We're at night. Everybody wants I'm to a, just you I'm just alone. I'm, I'm alone here in Salvador, coach. <laughs> <laughs> coach. Yeah, Jose. My entire family is in the United States. I'm here alone. Wow. Uh, there you go. Even more. Even more reason. Keep yourself busy, man. Keep yourself out of problems. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I don't get in trouble anyways. I mean, yeah. I, that's, that's all I do, teacher. I stay home. Taking that's care all. of my dog. Taking care of my dogs and my cat. That's it, that's man. It. That's yeah. it. Believe me. You when Once you start going out, you get in trouble. Always. You get problems with people at the bar. You get problems with people in, in driving, in the car, in the bus, pushing, whatever, man. There's always problems. So, if you're at home, stay out of stay out of trouble. Eric, Eric, what'd you say? To, to get a beer, huh? <laughs> Just a few. Huh? Just a Just few. A few. Yeah. How many have you drink, man? Tell me the truth. How many have you had? Tonight? Like in one night? Tonight. No, tonight. Like in one, yeah. No, in, tonight like three. the most you have drink in one night. Uh, once, once we drank, we drank um, like. Seven bottles of tequila with two friends more for Ooh. or three. <laughs> you see, that's partying, Eric. I'm party. sorry, we were four. We were four. Ah, uh, it was seven bottles. Listen, I'll say, listen, that's a lot. That was Marcia, everything okay? Yes, I'm sorry. I had like internet issues, so I just log in. No problem. No problem. Everything's good. Good thing that you were able to log in. All right. So we were just catching up. We were just uh, practicing asking questions, working on our fluency, uh, practicing pronunciation. Um, just wait for a second. There's a couple of words that I heard that we want to make sure that we get corrected. Um, let's see who else is missing. Everybody's almost back. Okay. And all right, that should be everybody. All right. So just a couple of things. Uh, very good job asking the questions coming up. Uh, just I know I heard a couple of words. Um, one of the words that I heard that was mispronounced was the word bracelet. The pronunciation is bracelet. That's um. In the case of Gladys, that's because I know that's what Gladys does um, in making the bracelets. That's one. Uh, you know, another one was, uh, I don't know, I can't remember uh, how it was pronounced, but another one was the word continue. Continue. Okay. Um, and those were really pretty much the only two words. Everybody else was, was doing well with the pronunciation of the words and making sure everything was great. Okay. So, Teacher, uh, how, do you, uh, how do you say convocatoria? Um, maybe for what? What is it? Uh, because is it like for, uh, for a job, for applying a job? Hi, what well, then for a job? It's a hiring. They're hiring because they don't have this convocatoria for like the way that we know it. Okay, mm -hmm. just hiring. Um, for example, a company is hiring next month. Correct. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. So that's the idea because they, the convocatoria is that they're, um, it's a little bit different because we understand that they're calling people. But they're it's getting in touch with you, right? Yeah. But it's, it's a little bit different because convocatoria is like an open, like, like it's, it's open to anybody. So in English, it would just be for hiring. Mm -hmm. Okay. We use the word convocatoria, but we, we mean the same thing in Spanish. Contratando. Convocatoria. 
mm-hmm. or openings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that yeah. Op- but company but, have openings. Yeah. Do or we, meeting request. There, say again, Angela. Meeting request. Um, no, because request is they ask you, but it's not a request. <laughs> It's, uh uh-huh, they're not asking you. They're just, they they have, uh, you know, uh, an open um, hiring uh, positions or uh, job positions available. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they say we have availability if you're interested in applying. Mm -hmm. So, a way to say convocatoria, they they are calling people. Um, No, not they're calling people, they're hiring people. Because when they're calling people, it's like, it's specific so and in spanish we understand convocatoria it's open to anybody it's not that you that they call you or they call marcella or eric it's like if you if you like say they are calling it's like you went through the hiring process already exactly and And then they're they're calling the people that already passed the first the first phase correct yeah Mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome Mm -hmm. so I don't know. Anybody else have any other questions or uh, vocabulary I that do they want? I have one teacher. Yeah. About a, in school, it is like the ending of of everything. Can we call it the closing of the year, like closure or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, you closure. can. Closure, because yeah, in closing. Spanish it is clausura, right? But uh, I. I was talking with Angel and I said closing of the year, but I know if I was correct. No, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. The school clo- or the end of the year closing or, you know, final exams or whatever it is. Oh, sure. uh, and can we say, say it like closing ceremony, the act that we, that we had in the day. Because there is, when, there is a moment when you give degrees or grades and diplomas and i can say it like closing ceremony that's more like a graduation i guess yeah you you, you can't or promotion or something like that you no can't. no the thing is that in my school we mm-hmm. do a ceremony for that like it doesn't matter that you are not graduating but we do it like we have a ceremony with we give uh, blue ribbons in uh, first second and third place but we do it like a ceremony yeah we call it closing ceremony Mm, no yeah well the difference is this that normally when you refer to a closing ceremony is that that you have had many parts and there's this is the last part of that ceremony so you have Mm. like the introduction the presentation or you know like the olympic games there are many different days and the last day out of the all of the events that's when you have the closing ceremony and how, can we call, and how can we call it in the school? So in, in the school, you normally call it a, a graduating ceremony. or the, mm-hmm. Because even if you don't graduate, for the Americans, you graduate and they have graduating ceremonies. So if you go from second grade to third grade or from first grade to second grade, they still call it a graduating ceremony. And can we call it closure ceremony? Mm, no, because closure, they're, they're different words. I mean, they have the same idea, but like closing is the verb and closure is... Uh, the, the noun. Uh, I have, it's an adjective. It's an closure. Adjective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. It's the thing is that I'm writing a paper for that, so I have to change that part. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can go ahead and, I mean, you know, uh, Salvadorians tend to use what it is in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Right? So Salvadorians normally say a closing ceremony. They say, uh, for example, a sports day. They say sweet bread. They mm-hmm. say whatever it is in Spanish, that's what they translate it to. It doesn't mean it's correct, but it does mean everybody understands you in Spanish. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, oh, if, okay. so if the school so, has already used closing ceremony before, you can go ahead and use it, but it's... Oh, okay. But the correct would be like a graduating ceremony. But for Salvadorians, they don't understand. Uh-huh. And the thing is graduating is like you are moving to high school. That's the problem. Uh-huh. And that's why they don't, that's why the movies in Spanish, they don't put the same name as in English because the Salvadorians don't understand. Well, not Salvadorians, Hispanics. Hispanics uh-huh. don't understand because we don't, we take things literally. Uh-huh. We, we, don't inter- <laughs> we don't interpret it. Yeah, Eric. 
No, it's me. Oh, Jose. sorry, Jose. Go ahead, Jose. You know what really shocked me is when I got when I come back to El Salvador and I used to see twi Twilight over there and they call it Crepusculo here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I was that's, it. That's, that's Twilight. I, don't, I still don't know what cre down. Crepusculo means. That's what it means. Twilight. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Where that because word come from? That's because that's the correct word for uh, the light before dawn. Uh, so when you have dawn, like at five thirty or six, this is the light mm -hmm. that you see, right? That's okay. when you see the sun. But before okay. that, you already see light, but you don't see the sun. At that moment, that's called twilight, and in Spanish, that time or that that. Observation is called crespusculo. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a that's that's actually the the the, the technical word for what it really exists. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. but in in general terms, you know, like uh, um, I don't know, I, I I the one of the the, the most popular ones are like uh, uh, eh, chicas blancas en trasero negro or something like this. And white chicks. <laughs> and in Spanish, in English, it's only white chicks. But, yeah. <laughs> but when they put it in, in Spanish, it's completely different because it, so that's where you have to be careful because in Spanish, people don't, don't normally interpret the meanings. They take the meanings literally, <laughs> especially for movies. So if the movie is called, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, balas a tu corazón, they expect <laughs> it to be somebody killing, you know, like, right? Mm-hmm. Imagine but in English, but it, but in English, they say like bullets to the heart is is just maybe it's a love story. When I came here, I wasn't even <laughs> I wasn't even able to order a cheeseburger at the McDonald place. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I I I tell I tell them I want a queso burguesa, and they were like, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They they I still don't know what they call it. But it's okay. So yeah. It's, no, that's right, Carolina. You put it down as it is, but just so that it's the important is that you know, because the other people don't know and they always assume and they always, you have to correct them. Like, you know, it, it happens all the time. It happens mm -hmm. all the time that you have to correct people and they don't understand. For example, they don't understand why Americans say uh, Americanos and then in Spanish they say todos somos Americanos and they get angry about it, but they don't, mm -hmm. understand, they don't understand the grammatical reasons for it. And they just yeah. They assume that it's not grammar. They assume that it's, you know, a mentality issue. Yes, because that paper is for parents and they don't speak English. If they, if they read graduating ceremony, mm -hmm. they would think in graduation. Yeah. And that's not the message. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, it's, that's, that's the idea because sometimes that's the part of the interpretation, right? Is that you, it's not the words, but it's the message that you want that has to be the same. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like here in El Salvador, we say second year of high school, but in English, you're never going to say second year of high school because then the student loses one year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're going to say, for example, the 11th. Uh, 11th grade, exactly. You're going to say, no, or the because, 10th. Th yeah, because here, here in El Salvador, the second year of high school, the students graduate. In the U.S., that's a senior. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you see what I mean? Like it's it's many times you just have to be careful and, and just who the audience is. Okay. Yes, because it's for parents, so I'm gonna leave it like closing ceremony. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Leave it like that. It's better. Then the parents won't know, and you won't have to you won't have to educate each parent. Yes. All right, so we're going to continue. We're going to be looking at the idea. Um, yesterday, we started to look at cities, describing a city, what makes a city. We can see, and let me make it a little bit bigger. Um, maybe you can see some of the words. It's architecture, which are the buildings, the designs, the structures. Cuisine, the pronunciation is cuisine, which I is... I like to, to say something. Go ahead, Angela. Sorry, no. it's, uh, I don't know if you were talking about some exercise, uh, the platform, but I have a question. Just let me look for it. I have a question on lesson 3.2. 3.2. Let's take a look. Mm, no, let's check. All right, here we go. 3.2. Okay. Uh, okay, I understand that non, non, I don't remember, non, non-defining, 
non defined. <laughs> that uh, we will use uh, a comma, right? Correct. But, a comma. Uh, mm -hmm. Before. Correct. Before uh, who? Whose? Whom? Where? And which? And that. And that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Um, <laughs> my question is for the exercise number four. I don't know if it's incorrect or what. Uh, but I... You didn't come to <laughs> class yesterday, huh, Angela? No, I couldn't, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's, that answers my question because we answered it in yesterday in class. Oh, I didn't <laughs> too, teacher. That's why uh -huh. I have some of them wrong. Yes, that is. That is right. But don't worry. Don't worry about it, guys. It happens. It's it's always important. It's always important. But that way, I, I that way, it's good. I, I I point it out. That way, you see that sometimes your questions are are answered, and we have them. The number four, Bogota. It should be Bogota, comma, which, right? But do not put a space because the person that put a the person that wrote it uh, forgot to put the space. I reported it yesterday, and they said they had fixed it, oh. but. I'm going to double check in this moment. Okay. Let me take a look. All right. Because it's supposed to be the same as you just mentioned, Angela. It's going to be Bogota, comma. Okay. Without which, space. With the correct should be that. Uh, uh, plateau in central Colombia. And then after Colombia should be another comma. Okay. Yes. That is the correct way. Mm -hmm. Let me double check right now because they told me it had been fixed. It has not been fixed. So, no. which means that we go there. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah. No comma. No. With, with comma, but without a space. Correct. With comma, but without space. That's one. Um, is that the only one, Angela or Carolina? I have the first one incorrect. All right, take away the period, Carolina. That's the one we talked about yesterday yes. also. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Just eliminate the period at the end. And I, and? I was... Uh, do it. Go ahead, Angela. No, no, you, you first. I was, I was trying the listening part, and if you have to type, it is that one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You have to type the features that you listen. But I don't know if they have a... And and either order, and I wrote them in in this order, and that's why I have it incorrect. But I I always write it in different ways, and it is incorrect. Okay, so yeah, same here. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Put in the chat. What are the features that you wrote? Let me take a look. What, what features did you put in, uh, or what features did you write for number two? Do you remember? Yes, I wrote art, architecture and mm -hmm. night, nightlife, something like that. Like, like cuisine. Nightlife, cuisine, cuisine mm -hmm. nightlife, cuisine. I just wrote those three. I don't know if I have and to more. Scenery. Uh, scenery as well. And uh, uh, which? <laughs> in the listening but is there an, an a specific order that we have to follow i don't think there's a specific order but you should have five and yeah. scenery is incorrect okay. scenery is not a correct okay. word okay mm -hmm. two three four. but you should, have, you should have five different ones on that you're right with architecture you're right with nightlife and cuisine but you're missing two more i'm missing two okay mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I will take that part. But there is no an an an, an specific order, teacher, that we have to follow. Like I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it right now without showing you to see if okay. there's a, if in okay. a specific order. If Please, there's, teacher. If there's a because specific if not, it will order, be a bit you, yeah. Let me take a look. If there's a specific order, if you know, hang on. And. One second, it's checking, it's going to let me know.
No, I guess I guess it is a specific order. Let me mm -hmm. try. Let me put it in the right order and see if if that's the issue. Okay, hang on a sec. Wow, baby. All right. Um, while I'm checking that, is there any other question, any other exercise that you had questions about or not sure? No, just for me, just to do teacher. Okay. Thank God. I'm just trying to refresh it. Uh, because it's saying it can't get to the website. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Okay, let me try it one more time and without the correct order. And also I'm gonna try it without, a, without the, all of the words. Yeah, I guess you do have to have a specific order. Hang on, because it's not letting me do it without that specific That's order. crazy, teacher. I, I think it is. <laughs> Hang on. Architecture, yeah. scene, nightlife, uh, historical sites. Yeah. It must be festivals, the other one, teacher. No. Am I wrong? <laughs> you are. But I, I, I just listen it once. I wanna listen it again because I just wrote the ones that I will listen. And I wrote okay. three, but then I got them wrong and then they made a different order, but then you say that there are five, so I'm gonna look for the other two. Yeah, it's because I'm putting it in and it doesn't allow me to put it in in a different order. Okay. Okay. But it's in the chat. Oh, yeah. It's in the chat for, for, all, for everybody because I think that's, that's a little ridiculous that it has to be in that order and you can't put it in any other order. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. For understanding it. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make sense, so let me try it like this. Oh, yeah, they, they, they talk about the climate. You're right. Okay. And <laughs> landmarks. Okay. okay, here we go. Maybe that was the mistake. I'm going to try one more time. Yeah, it has to be specifically in that order. So uh, for everybody, that way, uh, when you hear it, okay, it's in the chat. For uh, uh, The question was for 3.5 and uh, the listening part, the part two of the listening. So that way you have the right one. Okay. That's crazy, teacher, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not okay, but, you know, what can you do? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Uh, we'll continue. Uh, was there any other questions or any other exercises? That's why it's always good to come to class and ask because sometimes it's not you that's wrong. It's just, you know, the platform is very, very specific. And if you don't have that one right, that's a big deal. I understand, teacher. Okay, great. So if we don't have any more questions. We're going to go back to uh, looking at the different ways to describe the city. We were mentioning that in the case of um, architecture was the buildings, the cuisine was the food. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, customs are what the people normally do. So for example, a custom in the Salvador would be um, Nehapa, and Nehapa has the Fireball Festival. This is a custom, okay? That's what we mean. Um, or, I don't know, or, or festivals where they have, um, uh, sorry, the customs would be in Suchitoto, where they have the, the rugs, right? Or in San Salvador, in Paseo El Carmen, where they have, uh, for, um, for Easter, the decorations with sand or with wood, right? And Carnaval de San Miguel will be teacher. Carnaval de San Miguel would be a festival. 
Oh, okay. The, the difference between a custom and a festival is the festival is the celebration and the custom is the things that you do. So, okay. it, so uh, los paralitos, okay? Paralitos. Yeah, I, I think it's in a taco, if I remember. Or, Aguachapan. Aguachapan. Aguachapan, all right, thank you, in Aguachapan, okay. So it's a custom to, to light them at night, okay? It's the festival is the farolitos. But the custom is the actions that you do and the festivals is the celebration. So for example, I don't know, the Hokote festival, not a Hokote custom because the celebration is for Hokotes. The custom would be maybe like in, oh, like in Spain, La Tomatina, where they throw tomatoes. That's, that's a custom. Like a not tradition. A, that's like a tradition, the thing that you do. That's going to be the difference. So I'll give you an example. The one that we just had uh, two weeks ago, Halloween. Hmm. Halloween is a festival. But what is the custom for Halloween? The custom is to dress up. The custom is to use a, a decoration or the custom as for is for candy. As for candy, that's the custom. Exactly. Eat pumpkin. Correct. Eat pumpkin. Watching scary movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they're so popular on Netflix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Then we have historical sites. Historical sites are just like in El Salvador, uh, Casablanca, Tazumal, uh, these places. That's, you know, historical sites. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Catedral uh, Santa Ana, Catedral San Salvador, places that are old. Nightlife, obviously, uh, Zona Rosa, uh, you know, Paseo del Carmen, uh, whatever. Uh, El Tunco. That would be the nightlife. I, I don't go to San Miguel or places there, so I don't know that, that what they would say there. So that's why I don't mention any of those. Um, scenery, okay. Scenery is what really like the what you observe, what you can see. So if you go to the volcano of San Salvador, you can the you can see the city with all the lights. Or if you go to what's the place for to eat pupusas, no uh, planes uh, de renderos. Yeah, in planes, exactly. So you have a, a beautiful scenery. That's the idea. Okay, what you see, and shopping is obviously the, right. A gran vía. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, those are the ones. It's okay. All of those ideas for how to describe a city. Scenery, sorry, how, how do you say that? Scene, scene, I don't know. Uh, scenery. Scenery. Mm -hmm. Scenery. Scenery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what about landmarks? Landmarks. It, like yes. it is like, for example, the Statue of Liberty in New York is a landmark? Correct. Salvador de Mundo okay. is a landmark. Okay, nice. It's a building or a construction that you can identify only because that's it. Just you just say the name of the building and the people know it where famous. it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a famous building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a famous construction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other words? Landmark is like what exactly? Like Salvador de Mundo, like uh, the Statue of Liberty, like the Eiffel Tower, like the Colosseum. Yeah, like an like Puente de Oro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. We don't have it anymore, but yeah. it used so, to be. So, it's, it's similar to the monuments. The difference is that the monuments were created for somebody or to represent something specifically, right? That's the monument. That's the function of the monument. But the landmark is just because it's so popular. It's so, it's so well known. For example, a when in Chicago or in New York, where you see the bull, there's a little bull and you see in the movies, okay? Mm -hmm. That's a landmark. You, or the, you know, like, uh, I don't know, the, the Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. That's a but landmark. A, but a landmark is, doesn't, doesn't necessarily to be a monument. It no. It be the Puerta del Diablo. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. That's the difference. Hermano Lejano. Right, the landmark is different because the landmark is a place that is easy reckoning, sorry, that is easily recognized just by saying it. So the people know what it is. That's a landmark. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
You're welcome. So, you know, sometimes it's even a tree. There are some trees that are landmarks. Or La Ceiba. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If they're, if they're, you know, there used to be one in La Ceiba, but, you know, not anymore, but that's the idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other words? No. Okay, great. So what we're going to do right now, well, we actually only have about nine minutes left. So we, you already know that 3.5, we already corrected, or at least you know the order for part two. What is the correct order if you didn't? Okay. And on Monday, we're going to begin looking at orders of modifiers. Okay. So we're not going to start that yet today. We don't want to get confused. But what we are going to do is we're just going to take a few moments with our partners. And we're just going to talk about the things that you would do if you weren't in class. So if you were not in class this evening or today, what would you be doing? Okay. That's a tricky question, teacher. I know. I know. <laughs> I will be there. <laughs> So if you were not in class, what would you be doing? Okay, if we were not in class, okay. What did the teacher say we should do? I don't, I don't understand. What would you do if you weren't at uh, a class? Is, excuse me, I, I didn't listen. What would you, I don't know, what would you do if you weren't at class? What would you do if you? Speak English, you know? Six speaks English better than me. No. <laughs> but I will be right now maybe playing dolls with my Sorry? Playing dolls? Wait. Playing with dolls? There, there's a lot of noise here. Can you repeat that? I will be playing with dolls with my daughter right now. Mm -hmm. Cooking or doing something like that. But it's just playing. Just play, but you yes. said you, you you have you have three daughters or no just one just one just 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 April that's her name April 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 yes that's her April. name April April Anna Fe yeah April Anna Fe Angela before sorry to interrupt but before no, I forget no. uh. Angela, what are the last four numbers of your cell phone? Of my cell phone? Let me, I, I don't remember. <laughs> you can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. And, and in this moment, uh, I'm sending you the list of the scholarships in case you're interested, okay? Thank you. Sure thing. Okay, I'll, let, I'll let you guys continue. Go ahead. Thanks. I got a lot to do for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. That's great, man. Yeah. But I'm glad that you're learning something new. Yeah. yeah. I, I, have. I, I always love to, to learn new things. During the quarantine, uh, my, my grandparents-in-law my parents-in-law has a, a workshop. So I was, I was practicing with the torno. I don't know how to say torno. I don't remember in English. I'm sorry, teacher, you're here. How do you say torno? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know for the device. Machine to shop. What? Is it a vice? The one that uh, helps you to, to move things? No. It's like, it's, it, it's a machine coach. It's a machine to, yeah, to yeah, give yeah. shapes to some um, Lock of metal. Metals. Uh -huh. We usually we usually say the shop and and the thing that you're going to do to do. We don't. I, I really don't know a, a, the specific word for torno. Okay, but I was 
working as a mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say, I, I learned a lot. What you were building? Uh, they have a workshop. They have a workshop, so they have plen they they do a lot of things. We were yeah. we were doing uh, giving maintenance to to some uh, machines from a, a factory. That's that's what I used to do in the United States. Oh really? That's great. Yeah. I used to like put machines apart and then put them back together at the end. Like I saw them and I hmm, no, and I have this like little um how do you say sobre? Folder? Envelope? Envelope. envelope. Yes, envelope. I have little envelopes of oatmeal that you just put the oatmeal in the in a cup or in in a plate and then you put water or milk and then two minutes on the microwave and then it's done. So that was my thing. To help the dinner. Yeah, it's it's very sweet. I don't know how many sugar um, does it have, but yes, it's it's healthy. I like oatmeal. And how about you? What is your dinner? I haven't dinner yet. No? <laughs> so sad. Uh, because of the work, I guess. Yeah, so until arriving home, like at midnight. <laughs> and and you don't eat like anything? Like, uh, yeah, you bet that if you have watched uh, Better Call Saul. Uh -huh, yeah. And it is amazing too, almost as good as Breaking Bad. But I ask. What is the name? Better Cold Soul. No, I never heard it. It is a spin off. I mean, it's before. All right, guys, it's just about time for us to finish. Um, I'm glad you came. It was the, the idea was for us to practice speaking and improving on our fluency and making sure that we're able to you know, communicate and ask questions, things like that. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Remember, next week, back to normal, Monday through Thursday. So Monday through Thursday. And well, take enjoy your weekend and uh, try to catch up. Remember to catch up at least Everybody should already be completed with unit two. So if you're not completed, you're behind. If you are completed, you're on schedule. All right? <laughs> so have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you on Monday. Thank okay, you, teacher. teacher. See ya. Okay. Bye. See you, everybody. Bye. 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 Take care.